Peter Shoshega started smoking in his teens. He continued well into adulthood until being diagnosed with lung cancer. Of course, I had been smoking for 45 years, but still it was a shock to find out that it, uh, that it was lung cancer. Peter underwent a computed tomography, or CT, chest scan, which aided doctors in diagnosing his cancer. The scan also revealed he was in the early stages of chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, or COPD. At the moment I was diagnosed, I didn't have any symptoms which I could identify with COPD. Dr. Pim Young from University Medical Center Utrecht in the Netherlands and co-authors performed CT scans along with lung function tests on more than 1,100 men who were current and former smokers. The men were asked to inhale like in a normal CT and then to also exhale. Images of the lungs were then compared. Basically, you can look at the destruction of the lung tissue, which is called emphysema, on the inspiratory scan. And on the expiratory scan, you can see whether the air empties enough when you exhale. So that's a measure of airway disease. The study appears in this week's JAMA, Journal of the American Medical Association. Based on the CT scan, we were reasonably accurate for the diagnosis of COPD. So we could uh, detect almost two-thirds of the COPD patients in our population based on the CT findings. Researchers say most of those patients were newly diagnosed, suggesting that COPD may have been identified at an early stage. When you catch the disease early and you give up smoking at an early stage, you will prevent the symptomatic period of the disease. Peter did stop smoking immediately after being diagnosed. He also was successfully treated for his lung cancer and is taking medication for the COPD. He is now hoping to follow in his uncle's footsteps. I look forward to be 90 years old, as, as, as old as he was, in a reasonable, good physical condition. Catherine Dolph, The JAMA Report.